Okay, this is a, uh, a five-string bass guitar, acoustic bass guitar, fretless, made by Michael Kelly. There it is. And, uh, it's uh, called the Dragonfly, and because it's got like a dragonfly inlay on it. And see right there? And the inlays look really cool. And I've, I've seen quite a few four-string versions of this but the five-string version seems to be kind of rare. And if you want the model number on this particular bass, it's, uh, the model number is Dragonfly F, I'm sorry, Dragonfly 5FLTBK. And it says it right inside there on the paper. You see that in there? Anyways, uh, it's pretty nice. Guitar. Right now it's got brass strings on it, and I believe I'm going to change into some nylon tape on them to compare the difference. And, uh, when I got this bass, uh, the neck had just to be just adjusted just a little bit, but it's, the neck is really great shape, and it's also got some Fisherman electronics in it. There, really simple, drill to operate. And just squeeze it up here to take the, the battery access. And uh, it's a 9-volt battery that's just pull out right here. See, 9-volt battery, you just pull it out. Push it back in. That's it. And it's a, this electronics, got, the Fishman does not have a tuner built in, but I've got a little Planet Waves headstock tuner on there for tuning. Which I recommend those, I love those. And when I'm messing around with this, the thing I notice is it's a really cool bass. And it's got a nice finish, it sounds good. Uh, plugged in, it sounds good. Uh, the tuners are real nice. The bridge is nice, it's easy to, to work on, neck adjustment and whatnot. But the, uh, the low string, the low B, uh, if you're not plugged into an amp and just playing acoustically, is a little hard to, to hear and a little floppy. So I'm going to try the uh, nylon tape on this from Digadario and just to see if the, uh, that'll be different. But otherwise, it's a really good bass. It's got some markers here on the back, as you can see. So you can see what's going on. Here's the back of the drum slate. Really nice. Jack's right there. Tuners. Fretless acoustic bass is really fun to play with. Oh, and let me show you the strings that I'm going to put on here. Which are right these. So I'm about to change them to this set right here. And I'll let you know as soon as I change them. How it works out, okay? Okay, so after checking out this Michael Kelly bass with the uh, Dragonfly bass with um, brass strings on it, it now has nylon tape on strings by Diodario. And I am definitely sold on the nylon tape wands. Great. They sound great. Uh, takes away all the weird frequencies on brass, and also the response from the B is really uh, way better. And you can actually hear the B acoustically, and through an amp, it just gets better. So I think I found a new set of bass strings. There it is. Uh, I want to try them on a fretted bass as well because they're so good. They're a little pricey, but. Now I see why. It's worth the price. Okay, so Aiden, uh, we got Aiden here with, with this uh, Michael Kelly fretless bass that I've put the uh, tape wands on. And he, what were you saying about the uh, the difference in, that you like? The tape wands, when put on bases with uh, piezo pickup systems, they really uh, complement it well. It kind of notches out the annoying frequencies that can get real clanky on these things. Yeah. Uh, and they just, I don't know, they sound so much better. You like the feel of them too? The feel is awesome. Yeah, for really nice. I think it's good too. Yeah.
Yeah, these are really, really smooth tape worms too. Yeah. Alright, thanks for the input, Aiden. Yeah. Here's what the tape worms looks, looks up, look like up close here. Let's see over top of this. Really nice. Very smooth. There it is. Did you get it? All right. Here's the top of them.